that is the year 10,191. In this time, the most precious substance in the universe is the spice melange. Arrakis has spice in the sand, but the lands and the barren's tyrannical hands. The planet is squeezed by Rabban the Beast. Inhabitants dream that Arrakis be freed. Emperor Shadam gives the fief to Atreides. Planet Caladan of Leto and his lady. Paul has been trained in the sisterhood's ways to master his body and harness his brain. Gaius Mahayan puts Paul to the test. If he is an animal, be put to death. Only a conscious mind can be allowed to survive. So conquer your fear or die. The witches have a plan for the quiz outside Iraq. They will breed a man whose prescience, transcendent memories, and omnipresence will. See the expanse, Jessica's son. Is he the one Bene Gesserit's want? What does it mean to see in his visions and dreams? What does it mean to be Lassan Al Ghaib? Is a messiah what the empire requires? Or will the hero's dream make the people bleed? What is destiny even meant to mean? Leto knows that he's facing a trap, but he has a plan to evade it. Commanding the Fremen in the desert, they'll be trained to withstand, to defend against his enemies and claim the land. The Atreides lady faces Mapes and she relates that the blades are maker to Mapes' isolation, because it validates the messages of reverence from ancient ages. But Jessica is messing with Mapes, the Bene Gesserit made manipulative claims. The missionaries invaded this native place to enslave their brains for the sisterhood's gain. Paul's attacked by a device of death. Survival requires a mind of zen, refined and enmeshed the finest flesh. Look to find to death, lest strike you dead. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The spice is vital to space travel. Dr. Yui loves the Atreides, but asked to betray them to save his lady. Secrets and lies eat him inside, knows he'll be despised long after he dies. Harkin and lies create a divide between Thu, fear and Jessica, so hatreds rise. Even Leto plays manipulative games before they find the traitor. It's too late, cause Mapes and Chewick are slain by Yui. He chains the Duke with a dangerous tooth. He tastes a blade on his final day, but claims victory, cause he sees the truth. Leto's son and wife escape violence. You can change your mind if you can say it right. So they make a break for it and race to survive. Sleep while sun's light. Then rise in the night. They hide with kinds, but Sardaukar march on to harm them. So Duncan, the brave master of blades, guards them and is slain. Kinds dies in the environment he tried to change. His science can't hide him from this dire place. Kinds is pride, but lies the lie of trying to apply the finite mind to a higher climate. So he expires in an explosion of spice. In the movie, Kinds chooses to be chewed by Shai Halud, which is cool too. So I'll hand that to you, Denny Villeneuve. The Spacing Guild and its navigators, who the spice has mutated over 4,000 years, use the orange spice gas, which gives them the ability to fold space. Deep in the desert, Paul's achieving transcendence, extending his essence, expanding his sentience. With messianic senses, vision is endless, and when his third eye opens, it's a cognitive explosion. He sees what's possible, he's chosen, he sees all of time like a writhing ocean. He's adrift in the system, with visions that split and are mixing. He's slipped through a rift in existence, with infinite singular vision. His prescient mind is a bridge across time, present, future, and past united inside him. The witches inflicted existential missions, a temporal vision, try not vision, he sees everything, he's swimming in infinity, it's so deep he can barely breathe, when he's transcending, his old life is ending, now he cannot feel, you made him a freak with Bene Gesserit schemes, now he cannot weep, Leto is dead and he cannot grieve, his tears burned away by the heat, he sees a holy crusade, it's a storm made of blades, a force of the age, a torment of flames, and they're calling his name. Can he avert it, or is this predetermined? Is he hero or scourge? Is pressing and blessing or curse for better or worse? A new man emerges. The spice exists on only one planet in the entire universe. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. They join with the Fremen, but Jamis wants to test them. So Paul finds Jamis, they're slashing and grabbing. He swings the tip quick and sticks it in. The tragedy is this enemy could have been a friend to he, but dreams aren't guarantees, just possibilities. And this ends mortally. Will Cheney stab Paul? Will the Atreides be restored? Or will they all fall to the Harkon and more? There is more to this story. There's deeper meanings and secrets and missions, schemes, plots and visions. Cause June isn't finished. This is just the beginning. Yeah.